Hey, it's David and welcome back to the shed. Now today I'm back on the uh, XVS650 bobber build but slight change of plan. I had planned on doing the front indicators today. It really was what I wanted to do because it completes the bobber build as a unit but I found in riding the bike that I really really didn't get on with where I'd put the license plate. I knew I did wasn't over keen on it but to get the bike in and out of the shed I have to negotiate quite a tight alleyway and it just got in the way far too much and I clipped it more than once getting in and out so I've taken it off and I need to find a new home for it. Where I planned on putting it down by the rear wheel is where you always see them but I don't think it cures the problem even though I could move it in a bit I think it still would cause me a problem because I will clip it and it will be in the way so I'm going to put it where I'd once considered putting it not the ideal position from my point of view but it is what it is so that's where it's going so let me show you what's going on right so the position of the mount was here but as I say, even though it doesn't stick out any further than that uh, uh, footboard up the front, it's in the way. Um, in fact, I lie, it was probably about here. But it was here, it's in the way, not happening, so it's gone from there. Now, my original plan was to stick it here, because I reckon you can tuck it in quite a long way. And you can mount it, you've got some mounting bolts here and this is where a lot of the aftermarket ones you can buy do fit them so that's a that's a pretty valid way of doing it but I still reckon even though if I tucked it all the way in here which I don't think I get away with from the uh, from the police because it would hide half the number plate so by the time I've put it somewhere where it's a little bit tucked in but not fully it's still going to stick out enough that I'm going to clip it as I try and maneuver it um, in and out of its parking slot. So unfortunately the place it's going to have to go is up here and that I'm really not happy with because it's well it's I mean the license plate is always ugly but you know it's going to be really obvious and it's going to be a little bit in the way and I don't think it does much for the looks of the bike. However from a purely practical point of view having got this really shorty mudguard here there is still going to be a lot of stuff that comes up the top here and skims over the top of this mudguard so what this will do is it will provide additional shock uh, protection down here for the shock mount so this is where it's going to go so I need to build a bracket to put it here so first things first off comes the seat I'm going to change the way the seat is mounted when I redo the mounting points for it to shift it slightly back and to make it adjustable because at the moment it's a different mounting system to what I've got for my spring seat and I want to have a single mounting system and as it is this one doesn't have the covers underneath the seat so I'm, I'm going to redo this but for now it's just going to be a little bit awkward and it's going to be, yeah, another reason for changing it is it's going to be very much awkward to have it like this when I've got license plate mount in here. So I might actually have to fit the spring seat for now just to get the, uh, to have the license plate on here. So there will be an upcoming episode to actually I always get confused when I'm upside down on bolts I always go the wrong way so there'll be another episode uh, to actually change these seat mounts over so I can retain the this seat and actually make it just movable to the right place Yeah, I don't know. 
So having tried to get these bolts out and realized just how difficult it is, it's gonna be impossible to get them back in with a, with a license plate mount on here. So these, this mounting system here is gonna to have to go. It was always in the plans to go, so I'm not really too bothered about that. So I need something that I can bolt in from the top like I did with the spring seat mounts. So the spring seat mount just sits on top. So until I redo this, I'm going to have to go back to the spring seat. Now, to mount this here, The simplest way would be to run a plate here, put a bend in it, bolt that to it, job done. I'd much fancier plans for a bracket to come out here that perhaps could be adjustable, you know, tilt it different directions, move it backwards and forwards, so that it would fit properly with different seats and so forth. But honestly, now that I've got the seat out of the way and I'm not in my own head thinking about it, I'm wondering if that's just overkill I can make the bracket look as nice as I want it to look and the time I would spend building this bracket could probably be better employed in changing the seat mounting brackets so that I can use it in the slammed configuration which I do actually quite enjoy to be honest when I'm riding and not the uh, spring seat because the spring seat obviously does sit a bit higher but I am thinking that uh, this is what I should be doing. I should be building a mount that will come off here. And bear in mind that this is a much taller. Oops, off that. There we go. But this is a much taller seat. This will actually provide a little bit of protection um, to the back of the seat as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to build a simple bracket out here and then spend some time actually getting the bobber seat or the slammed bobber seat back into operation.
not uh, shiny here at the moment. So this is the plate that I cut up earlier and I've folded an edge on here and around here to give it a bit of structural rigidity. It's not bolted in tight yet. It's still going to be a bit weak along here but it is what it is. Same idea as I did here partly to give it a bit of this to help it hide the spring from the side and also to give this plate a little bit more rigidity. So this then is going to be the base for the mount for the bracket and it's going to be just a simple piece of tube welded on there cut to length with a bracket to mount the uh, license plate. Now it may well be that this doesn't fit the slam bobber seat in which case I'll need a different bracket but oh well. Right I'm going to uh, get this tacked on here and see how long we need it to be.
So, after quite a bit of cutting, welding, uh, grinding and so forth, I now have this. So this is the bracket that will be used to mount the number plate. And it's pretty much as you've seen. What I did do was I did, uh, because the battery, the battery on the drill had run out, I had to wait for it to recharge so I could re-drill the holes and then use the angle grinder to actually cut them out. So aside from that, it's pretty much as you just as you've just seen me do it. I've had spent some time grinding around the uh, edges here. Again, it's not perfect, but um, it will do for now. So what I need to do now is to clean this up, prep it for painting, and give it a coat of paint, and then leave it to dry, and hopefully then we'll have a new uh, bracket for the license plate which will be good to go and we can move on so let's get on with the paint now I'm not going to do probably not going to film very much of it simply because I don't want the camera getting covered in paint and um, you've seen it before on the old video so let's go Right, paint is on, the bracket is almost ready to go on the bike, it just needs for the paint to actually cure and then I can mount it on. But it's going to be a few days while it uh, actually dries off hard enough to actually bolt in place. So for now, this is as much as I can do on this and you will see it when it's mounted on the bike in the next episode. Now if this has been useful to you, please like and subscribe, or don't, as you wish, it's entirely up to you, as ever. Um, but for me, this was a useful exercise in making brackets, in making something from scratch to actually do what I need it to do. Uh, it's not as good as it could be, but I guess that's just perfectionism, and uh, it will certainly do the job, so it's great. Now, in the next episode, I really do intend getting onto the front indicators because that's a big cosmetic item for me. There's some other fiddling around I can do, remounting that other seat I want to do. That's quite important, but really, it's the front indicator. So that's definitely the next thing, famous last words. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.